Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 1.1 number patterns and our essential question is how can you use properties to explain patterns on the addition table okay so this is called the addition table we can use it to add two numbers let's see okay for example let's add 3 plus 4 okay for the 3 we'll go to the right and for the 4 we will go down we see here that they meet at 7 so 3 plus 4 is 7 let's pick two other numbers for example 6 plus 8 so 6 plus 8 for the 6 will go to the right and for the 8 will go down so they meet here at 14 so 6 plus 8 is 14 so we can use the addition table to add two numbers okay now let's unlock the problem a pattern is an ordered set of numbers or objects the order helps you predict what will come next okay so for example 1 3 5 7 okay so we see here that we skipped some numbers so 1 we skipped the 2 and 3 we skipped the 4 5 we skipped the 6 and we wrote 7 so what will come after the 7 so we will skip the 8 and we will write 9 so 1357 is called a pattern because we can predict what will come next okay so here he says you can use the addition table to explore patterns okay so using this addition table we can find a lot of patterns okay so now activity one we will need the orange and green crayons here he says look across each row and down each column what pattern do you see okay so first of all what is the row what is the difference between the row and the column okay so the row is like this it goes from right to left left and right and the column is like this it goes up and down down and up okay so right and left this is row up and down this is column okay so look here at these rows and columns what pattern do you see okay for example this row 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 let's pick another row 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay so we see here that the numbers increase by one seven after it eight after it nine after it ten after it eleven and so on let's see the columns so for example this column 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 it increased by one and also for here 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and so on so all the rows and columns here increase by one so the numbers here increase by one okay here he says shade the row and column orange for the add and zero okay so let's shade the row and column for the add and zero let's erase these first okay so for the add and zero this is the add and zero we will shade a row and column so this is the column for the add and zero okay this is also 
the atom zero so we'll shade its row like this okay so we shaded the row and column for the atom zero here he says compare the shaded squares to the yellow row and the blue column what pattern do you see okay so here is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it's, it's the same as the yellow row and also here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it's the same as the blue column so we can say that the numbers are the same so here for the add and zero the numbers are the same that's because zero plus any number equals the same number so zero plus zero zero one plus zero one two plus zero two three plus zero three and so on okay so here he asks what happens when you add zero to a number when you add zero to a number what will happen for example zero plus one equals one zero plus two equals two so here the sum is the same as the other number so for example five plus zero equals five so the sum is the same as the other number okay next shade the row and the column green for the add and one so the add and one is here we will shade the row and the column for the add and one green so this is the add and one we'll shade it green like this and here the other one like this okay and the question here is what pattern do you see here the pattern is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so it started with 1 and ended to 11 so here's the numbers are greater than the blue numbers by 1 here is 1 here is 0 here is 2 here is 1 here is 3 here is 2 and so on so here we can say the numbers are in order from 1 to 11 and the numbers were from 0 to 10 if we add 1 we'll have new numbers from 1 to 11 okay last question what happens when you add 1 to a number okay so when we add 1 to a number what will happen we'll get the next number so if we add 1 to the 0 we will get the number after 0 which is 1 if we add 1 to 1 we will get 2 the number after 1 if we add 1 to 2 we'll get the number after 2 which is 3 and so on so it is like counting I get the next number 9 plus 1 9 plus 1 I will get the number after 9 what is after 9 when we are counting it's 10 okay so if we add 0 to any number we get the other number and if we add 1 to a number we will get the next number now let's move to activity number two we will need here orange crayons okay here he says shade all the sums of five orange what pattern do you see okay so the sums 
of 5 means the numbers that add up to get 5. So, for example, 0 plus what equals 5? We have 0 plus 5 equals 5. Then 1 plus what equals 5? 1 plus 4 equals 5. And 2 plus what equals 5? 2 plus 3 equals 5. Here, 3 plus 2 equals 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. And 5 plus 0 equals 5. You see, here all the sums, which they are 5, they make a diagonal. So what pattern do you see? We can say they make a diagonal. Okay, here he says write two addition sentences for each sum of five. The first two are started for you. So he wrote for us five plus zero and zero plus five. Five plus zero is five and zero plus five is five. Also here, we have 1 plus 4 equals 5. So here is 1 plus 4 equals 5. And also 1, the other 1 here, and the 4 down. So we can write it like 4 plus 1 is 5. So if it's 1 plus 4 or 4 plus 1, both equals 5. Okay, so we have also here 2 plus 3 equals 5. So 2 plus 3 equals 5 or 3 plus 2 equals 5. So here he says, what pattern do you see? Here, 5 plus 0, 0 plus 5 equals 5. 1 plus 4, 4 plus 1 equals 5. 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, here we can say that each pair of addition sentences has the same addends, but the addends are in a different order. So, here 5 and 0, 0 and 5, the same addends, 5 and 0, but here the 5 is first and the 0 is second, here the 0 is the first and the 5 is the second, so and we call this property commutative property of addition, so if I change it, the order of the addends, the sum stays the same. So, for example, here 3 plus 4 is the same as 4 plus 3. So, 3 plus 4 equals 4 plus 3, because 3 plus 4 equals 7, and 4 plus 3 also equals 7. So, if I change the addends, the order of the addends, the sum stays the same. And now, activity 3, we will need orange and green crayons. He says shade a diagonal from left to right orange start with a square for one okay so here we will shade the square of one and we will shade the squares to the right in the next row here we'll shade the three here we'll shade the five here's the seven the nine the eleven the thirteen the 15, the 17, the 19. And here he says, what pattern do you see? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. If you remember, we call these the odd numbers. So, all the numbers here are odd. Here he says shade a diagonal from left to right green. Okay, so we need a green crayon. Start with the square for
for two. So we'll start for two. We'll shift to the right, we'll shift the four, the six, the eight, the ten, the twelve, the fourteen, the sixteen, the eighteen. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. These are called the even numbers. So here all the numbers are even. Okay, so the even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And the odd numbers end in one three five seven nine so for example if we have a number more than 10 like 14 we look at the digit at the ones it's a four so four is even number any number ends in zero two four six eight is even number so this number ends in four we call it even number don't look at the one we look at the number at the ones okay so for example 28 okay here look at the eight the eight is one from the evens so the 28 is even number Okay, what about 29? 29 ends in 9 and it's one of the odd. So 29 is an odd number. Okay, so if we have a number more than 10, it has two digits or three digits, we look only at the ones. If the ones 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, it's an even number. If the ones is one three five seven nine, it's an odd number. Okay, here, okay here, write addition sentences for the shaded boxes. Write even or odd under each end. Okay, here we have, okay here we have six. So the six here comes from four plus two. So, 4 plus 2 equals 2, 6, and 4 is even number, and 2 also is even number. Their sum is 6, which is even number. So, even plus even equals even number. Okay, what about the 7? Let's see. The 7 here comes from 3 plus 4 so 3 plus 4 equals to 7 the 3 is odd and the 4 is even so odd plus even equals odd and the last one is the 8 the 8 comes from 3 plus 5 so 3 plus 5 equals to 8 so the 3 is odd and the 5 is odd their sum is 8 which is even so if we have even plus even or odd plus odd the sum is even but if we have one odd and the other one is even, their sum is odd. So if both of them are odd or both of them are even, the sum is even. If they are different, one is odd and one is even, their sum will be odd. Okay, so that is the lesson for today. Hope you guys understand it. And if you are in my class, we'll discuss this share and show on the live session. Have a nice day and goodbye.